The inspector. People with the inspector personality are said to be quiet and logical. They are grounded in their thoughts and beliefs. They work very hard in keeping themselves productive at all times, and they are highly organized people. Psychologists say that people with this personality type are no-nonsense, and they are decisive rule enforcers and followers. They are short with their words, and prefer to do things by the book. They are loyal to their traditions and values, keeping their day-to-day -day lives as consistent as possible. They don't usually get lost daydreaming about abstract thoughts and wasting time. Instead, they prefer the rush of setting their mind to something and finishing the task. This means that many people with this personality type can often come across as rigid and rude, being misunderstood easily. Managing their emotions and their interactions with other people might be something that they need help with. The Crafter People with the crafter personality are goal-oriented. When a problem arises, they want to quickly understand why that problem occurred and develop a solution. For crafters, it's important to understand cause and effect, as it's vital to maintaining efficiency. They're also open to frequently trying new experiences and getting into thrilling and risk-taking activities, such as motorcycling, racing, or skydiving. When it comes to making judgments about something, they prefer objective criteria rather than sticking to a set of personal beliefs and values. They are reserved and have an even temperament, meaning that they are quiet and have an easygoing attitude, especially in environments like the workplace, where they share a lot in common with others. Crafters typically have a hard time recognizing the emotional state of others and can sometimes be insensitive or cold without realizing it. They often ignore their own feelings until they are completely overwhelmed. The Protector Protectors are extremely perceptive of the emotions of the people and events around them. They are caring, compassionate, and usually loyal to most people. However, while they are also good at understanding their own emotions, they often struggle with knowing how to express them, choosing to bottle up their fears over time, which doesn't help given how sensitive they tend to be. When dealing with life's struggles like illness or death, they may keep quiet about what they are experiencing because they don't want to bog other people down. People with this personality learn best through action. Protectors are very habitual, meaning that they thrive in the most consistent environments where they have a clear expectation of what's going to happen and what they must do. They strive to create an orderly and harmonious environment, whether that's at work or at home. The Artist Studies suggest that around 5-10% to 10 of people have the artist personality. Artists are typically peaceful and caring towards other people, rocking an easygoing attitude. They are usually quiet and calm, preferring tasks that require focus. They prefer thinking about the present rather than the future, and enjoy taking immediate action in order to seize an opportunity. Rather than dreaming and fantasizing about something they could do, they just do it. Artists are exceptionally good at hands-on activities. They don't really like abstract theories that much, unless there is some sort of practical application for those ideas. Artists are often indecisive, having trouble choosing options when it's time to make a decision. They avoid conflict and don't handle confrontation very well, usually burying their issues rather than dealing with them head-on. They also need time to recharge after most social events. The Advocate this is considered one of the rarest personality types according to the Meyer-Briggs model. Advocates are compassionate for other people, but they're not pushovers at all. They have the strength to act decisively in order to get what they want. They are naturally introverted and need time to themselves after social events. But they are also capable of forming strong social bonds and connections with other people. Their greatest strength is their ability to envision an idea and then immediately act on said idea. Rather than dreaming about creating a successfully rich business, they sit down and actually build one. They plan, organize, and make decisions early on. They are both emotional and logical, meaning that they place a strong emphasis on their emotions over facts. But they also don't view the world in a delusional way where they ignore objective reality. They understand the good and the bad and navigate through it with the intention of leaving the world a better place. The Mediator Mediators are quiet and reserved, choosing to spend time with only a select group of people. They aren't shy. Rather, they gain energy from spending time alone and just genuinely prefer it. When they are working, they are curious to see all of the quick possibilities that are open to them. 
and they are good catalysts when it comes to idea implementation. They want to understand the people around them and help them reach their potential. They keep an open mind when it comes to making any decisions and strongly value their personal beliefs over logic. The Architect the architect is both creative and analytical. They work as hard as possible for long hours and usually prefer to do it alone. They tend to have a high self-confidence, which is a strength. However, it can also cause many of them to be insensitive or rude when interacting with other people, especially people that they are employing. This is because they have a much higher standard for competence and performance that the typical person doesn't understand. Steve Jobs is one example of someone that reportedly had this issue, making his employees burn into tears crying after harshly berating any ideas they presented to him that he deemed were stupid and worthless. Architects are brutal perfectionists, preferring logic and objective information over any emotional damage they might cause to other people. They are committed to organizing a job and carrying it through no matter how long it takes. They love control and order, and many of them are even inclined towards using manipulation tactics to maintain that order. The Thinker Thinkers are quiet and thoughtful, living within a rich inner world. They enjoy socializing only with small groups of friends that they share common interests and connections with. They value intellect over emotion and enjoy humoring theoretical concepts that test their logical analysis of the world, their ethics, and their morals. Being logically consistent and educated is important to a thinker, and their ability to think outside the box and come up with a creative solution to a problem that they face is important to them. They are skeptical and critical of the people, places, and things around them, but always analytical. They aren't big fans of planning or maintaining any sort of structure in their lives, as these things often intimidate them and make them feel mentally limited. The Persuader now that we've discussed the introverted personality types, let's tackle the extroverted ones. Persuaders are outgoing and have a dramatic mindset, enjoying material comfort. They have very strong social skills and enjoy spending time with a wide circle of friends and acquaintances. They have a fine eye for detail, often picking up on behavioral patterns exhibited by people around them. They take mental notes of these patterns and use this gathered data to easily persuade people. They talk quickly and effectively. They are quick decision makers, and in general, they live their day-to-day -day life impulsively. They don't plan things out or think about what they say for very long. They prefer to react in the moment and take risks, and making mistakes is their preferred way of learning. The Director Directors are assertive and love to take charge of people and the situation. They are deeply concerned with keeping things running as smoothly as possible. They are committed to traditions, standards, and laws, and they expect that other people will uphold their principles and respect their judgment. They are rigid, stubborn, and unyielding. People with this personality type are typically involved in civil duties and work for the government. Their self-confidence and strong convictions are essential to their personality, as it's required in order for them to be as forceful and brutally honest as they need to be when managing and communicating with large groups of people. The Performer Performers are the class clowns, the people that love being the center of attention. It's estimated that 4-10% to of people in the world have this personality type. Performers hate book learning, as well as theoretical discussions, and because of this, they often struggle in school. They prefer to learn about the world through hands-on experiences. They figure out life as they traverse through it, and they are often unaware of the long-term consequences of their actions. Because they dislike routines, they quickly rush into new situation after new situation, enjoying many experiences and adventures. They are very perceptive of other people's behaviors and emotions able to sense what they are feeling. Most of the time, performers are warm and sympathetic to people around them, but this is not always the case. However, one thing that's true for all of performers is that they love to have fun and enjoy living life doing what feels right in the moment. The Caregiver Caregivers are sensitive to the needs and feelings of others, and they enjoy helping as many people as possible. Growing up, they were usually raised with high values and standards, and they were taught to treat everyone around them with kindness and respect. These values stick with them in adulthood and for the rest of their lives. Because of this, they expect their kindness to be noticed and appreciated by their broader community as well as for others to treat them with kindness themselves. When people are mean or aggressive towards them, they often get hurt easily, 
as they have a strong need for approval from others. They need to be liked and accepted by society in order to value and love themselves. That being said, they are very positive forces for anyone around them, as they often bring out the best in people, and they want the world to be a nicer place. The Champion Champions are highly sociable, energetic, and creative, innovative people who often make for good parents. They have excellent people skills and an abundance of enthusiasm. They care for the people around them, making people with this personality type often drawn to becoming empathetic leaders in their community. They are spontaneous, highly adaptive to change, they dislike routines, and they are obsessed with their future. They are often easily distracted, especially when they are working on something that seems boring to them. Their strength is their ability to generate new ideas, but their weakness is the fact that they often fail to execute or complete these new ideas, as well as their frequency to push off important tasks to the last minute and their general disorganization. The Giver Givers are usually more invested in their friend's success rather than their own. They are extroverted personalities that enjoy spending time with many people, meaning that they rarely feel loneliness. They are affectionate and supportive, and they don't feel selfish. They would rather spend their time boosting their friends up, even if that means they are neglecting their own life. Usually, they are extremely critical and harsh on themselves, but are great at solving disagreements between other people around them. The Debater the debater personality, otherwise known as the YouTube commenter personality, enjoys interacting with a wide variety of people. They are great conversationalists and thinkers, and they love to sharpen their talents by intellectually challenging as many people as possible. Despite the frequent arguments that they initiate, they usually have a laid-back personality and are easy to get along with because they enjoy the conversations they partake in that allows them to think more deeply about interesting topics. However, sometimes, these arguments can get derailed and cause friendships to fall apart when the fighting gets too serious, as debaters often lose track of how far they are going with these words. That being said, debaters are usually honest with their thoughts and emotions, and they are immensely curious about the world around them and people's individual experiences. The Commander Commanders have strong verbal skills. They enjoy spending time with other people and almost get a rush of energy from socialization. Commanders are generally well-informed and educated people, and they love sharing their knowledge. They are natural-born leaders, quickly noticing illogical and inefficient procedures and policies in the world, and evolving comprehensive systems to solve these organizational problems. They thrive off long-term planning and goal-setting, and unlike the other leadership personalities we've discussed in this video, such as cruel dictators, commanders are kind. They view the expression of their emotions, whether they are positive or negative, as inappropriate and prefer to keep all of their thoughts and feelings to themselves.